It's the most common gynecological tumor affecting Canadian women today, uterine fibroids. But until now, there was no approved medication to treat them, and surgery was the only option to shrink or remove them. But a new medication has been approved by Health Canada and is now available offering women a new option. Fibristol is the first oral and only approved non-surgical treatment that actually reduces the size of fibroids and also quickly controls symptoms like heavy bleeding. Dr. Guylaine Lefebvre, Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto, says a lack of effective medical advancements has affected the options physicians have to treat uterine fibroids and that women should be offered every option possible before invasive surgery. Fibroids are benign, they're smooth muscle like the rest of the uterus, but they are basically smooth muscle balls that grow within the uterus. Fibroids cause very heavy bleeding, they can cause pressure, they can grow to the size of a watermelon and, and affect other organs. When I was at the peak of my suffering and my uterine fibroids were, were, were growing and increasing in size every month, I was given some medical treatments and they did help control the, the flow for a little while, not to any degree that would have actually incre increased the quality of my life. So, you know, it was a very difficult time and it's very difficult for women to find appropriate medical treatment for their uterine fibroids. The effect of fibroids on the daily lives of Canadian women can be staggering. In an international survey, 54% of uterine fibroid sufferers reported they negatively impacted their daily lives. Women may even miss work a couple of days every month to cope with severe symptoms. Routine activities are impacted, and they may even lead to fertility issues or complications during pregnancy. Fibroids affect women of reproductive age. Other risk factors include obesity, family history, and race. Common symptoms of fibroids can include abnormally heavy and prolonged menstrual bleeding, pelvic pain and pressure, iron deficiency anemia, and menstrual pain. Uterine fibroids also affect the economy. Women with moderate to severe fibroids visit their doctors twice as often as women without the condition and have increased in absenteeism and decreased productivity. Dr. Lefebvre says the approval of this new option for fibroid care gives healthcare providers and their patients a less invasive option and represents a significant advance in treating uterine fibroids. Fibristol is the first medication that really targets fibroids directly to have them shrink and to decrease the heavy bleeding that goes along with that. For more information about uterine fibroids and Fibristol, talk to your doctor.